the series, episode 45 of Minecraft Survival Season 2. Claim your here before the finale ticket by watching the entire episode. Okay, okay. So obviously I'm just joking around. But we have a mission today. The overworld is packed with builds and auto farms. I love it. But we have a problem in other dimensions. And I ain't talking about the end. I'm talking about the nether. We've done nothing in the nether this season. And it's pretty embarrassing. Other than explore and find a fortress. Go for wither skulls. We've literally done nothing over in that dimension. That is really embarrassing. Today, all of that's going to change. In between episodes, I've destroyed like two Y levels of the chunk. So we are making progress. Oh my gosh, what was I thinking? Gold armor! Well, you all know what time it is now. It's time to enter the nether dimension. And actually, do some building over there. And I've been flattening out exactly where we are going to build our nether house. Exactly. Check this out. This was not here before. Hey, gas tears. How could I forget those? We're going to be needing those soon. I'm definitely taking them. So let's begin with our nether house. The base I think is gonna be crimson. Like it has to be. So actually I've gotta do this. We'll put a window there. Gotta do this, skip out three blocks and we'll put a window there. That's pretty good. I'm happy I've done that. So, I say this with every build, but I really do mean it. Whenever you're building, just build what you want. If you're envisioning a circular build, build a circular build. If you're not, don't build a circular build. Just do how you want your nether base to look that where are all the gas like i ain't complaining but like there's normally loads oh they're scared of this i mean other than the gold helmet they're scared they really are scared we need to add a doorway don't we so the door So a lot of that was just me planning out what I want to do for the building and everything. Also went ahead and got some more crimson planks. And I also now have my axe, which is sweet because it's it's incredible. This axe, like, bro, it's amazing. Okay, okay. So we have the doorway here now. Um, are we going to add any windows here, though? That's what I don't know if we are going to do yet. Are we going to add windows on this side or do we want the... How about we do this? Just a middle, dead centre. Pretty sure it's dead centre. Okay, so six. Dead centre. That don't seem bad actually. So we can do that definitely. These ones we can have higher windows. Okay, okay, this ain't bad. This isn't bad at all actually. So now I I wanna take a pause on the structure and work on the floor for this build. The floor, you know my thing, checkerboard. It's been a while since the last scene and significant progress has been made since then. Crying obsidian for the portal corners, just like at home. The piglins are out. Hi, piglins. I ain't afraid of you. With the windows, we have the doors in. The floor is just beautiful. Next up is the roof. It's time to take on the roof. And that's going to be made out of polished blackstone brick stairs. Thank 
gamers, we are done with our nether house. It's no masterpiece, but we have the beautiful checkerboardy floor. We have the nether portal with the lighting. We have the blackstone brick roof. And if we're gonna go outside, we're gonna need to wear one of these bad boys. Yep, there we go. We're gonna have to hope there ain't any ghasts out here. And I can very quickly come round. Oh, there's gas, so we'll go in a minute. It's actually pretty nice. I mean, it ain't anything too cool, but it's pretty cool. Down here, uh, we don't go down here. Yep. The problem, the one problem with this nether hub is these blocks for the floor are both spawnable. Crimson can spawn piglins and hoglins and then the warped one can spawn endermen. So we'll have to see how that goes. And that's our nether house. It's nothing too crazy, but it's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Let's go back to the oven. Here we go. We are about to enter the secret shout out laboratory and we're in. Oh, today's winner is an old supporter of the channel, Admiral Hydra. You don't have to be a current supporter to make it into the secret shout out laboratory. This guy was always supporting me, always on my side. So only makes sense for a Myral Hydra to enter. T4 Trash has been lit up. Congratulations. To enter, like, subscribe, leave a nice comment. Today's episode has been a shorter one, but that's fine. Next episode, we're gonna do something that may seem useless, but it's been something I've been wanting to do for ages. Goodbye, guys.